Mr. Wolf Litzer, what did you just witness? I just witnessed an amazing response by the international community to solve the problem of this disaster and crisis in Republia and Terracotta. Yeah, what happened there? It was it was a disaster. It was a, um, a, 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 a an attempt by people who didn't know each other, mm -hmm. who didn't know what resources they had, didn't often know what resources they needed, and didn't know where the locations of the survivors were, to get together and to begin a process of uh, responding to a need and serving their own constituencies, whether it's shareholders of a company or uh, voters in a political context or the, uh, the donors of, a, of an NGO. that 80% of humanitarian response goes towards logistics, you really want to be able to talk about how do you effectively build relationships, how do you, uh, how do you uh, build uh, partnerships, how do you purchase and procure and uh, build that supply chain. Uh, and today's exercise is really designed to get people talking about the challenges of um, doing all of those things, um, about the opportunities, and to build new relationships and partnerships. able to give money to South Territories. This is a blessing in disguise that we will see, hopefully helping the people of Territories. Any individuals willing to serve Territories, we have amazing need right here in front of me. And if you have water, wash need, wash need, if you have wash kits for sale, for Territories. Day two has just ended. Does anybody have water to sell? There is a desperate need for water serving South Territories or anywhere in Territories. So there's 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 challenges of com competition across scale of how much resources, right? Um, and even just knowing where to go for what. As an NGO, trying to balance between A, getting more money because you're running out of money, and um, buying and giving it out. So it was like a three stream process, and so doing that was a challenge as well. Yeah, the NGOs had a rough time. As an industry leader, we don't want to be just another company that promotes our products. We want to be forward-leaning and facilitating collaborative exercises like the one we did today.